Lord, we need you. Father, we pray that you, you would not leave us, Lord, to our own ways, Lord, but keep us, keep us, keep us near, Lord. Keep us near you, Lord. Keep us near to your heart, Lord. Keep us in that place of first love. May we never graduate from the simplicity of the invitation to union with you, Lord. And I pray that we, we would never deviate from the road, the same road that you took, the same road that you're inviting us on, Lord, that narrow road. And I pray that we wouldn't just find the narrow road, but that we would find, by your grace, the narrow road within the narrow road. That place where the only thing we can see is your beautiful face, Lord. That place where we so identify with you as you identified with us, Lord, my God, that we can truly come into that bridal union, Lord, that place of oneness. Lord, protect us and preserve us by the cross. Make us, Lord, my God, Make us, Lord, objects of your mercy, of your affection, your compassion. Fill us with your spirit, Lord. Fill us to overflowing, Lord, my God, to spirit without measure, Lord. Give us the grace, Lord, and the platform to reveal your power to a lost and dying generation, condemned by the power of sin, under the power of darkness. Fill our hearts with the same love that you filled your son's heart with when he walked the earth, and so many men and women that have walked this earth, Lord, through the years, fill our hearts, Lord, with the same love, the same compassion. Possess us with your spirit. Fill our hands with the same powers, especially in light of these last days. And do every single listener, even listening right now, God, I pray, I pray, place a dissatisfaction with living below the means of what is available in and through the atonement of Jesus Christ and the release of his spirit upon the earth. Even right now, I pray, Lord, my God, that you break the power of sin, disease, depression, self-consciousness, whatever it is, Lord, my God, that even any listener right now might be, might be bound to, Lord, my God, and do so, even according to your scriptures, that as they turn to you, Lord, let the veils be removed. The place of the spirit and the place of freedom unleash, unleash victory, Lord, my God. Reveal your glory as seen in the face of your son, Jesus Christ, the face of God. Bless us with your presence, Lord my God. Fill us with your glory. Release us into a world to demonstrate the power and the love and the truth of the gospel and point to your return. In Jesus' name.